What's up everyone, this is All I Talk is Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can hide and lock applications on your iOS device, and on top of that, this is not using the guided access method or the screen time method. So those are two common methods that I absolutely hate seeing around the internet, so I'm going to be showing you a really cool glitch working on iOS 12. Let's get started. So for those of you who do watch my channel, you may have actually seen this glitch, but for those of you who are new, you probably haven't. But for both people, I just want to mention that I do have a really cool feature to share with you guys that basically improves this glitch by a thousand percent. So I'm going to be showing you guys what it is. So if you tap on the Siri button inside of the widget panel and the edit button at the exact same time, keep trying, but you'll get this weird animation. Just click the home button and then you will not be able to scroll to the next page on your home screen no matter how hard you try. So you could see that once I do this right now, boom, I get this weird little effect and I can no longer scroll to the next page. So that now means that you can hide apps on the next page on your home screen. But there's one issue. You have these little dots at the bottom of your screen that show which page of apps you're on. So clearly somebody's going to know whether or not you're on the first page, second page, or etc. So what you should do is I recommend having all your apps on one page that you want people to see and then all your hidden apps on the other page. And I'll show you how to access that. But first, we're going to be downloading this special wallpaper. There's two benefits about this. One, it actually looks really cool, but also it hides the dots. So you're going to have to select the device wallpaper specific to your screen size. So what you want to do is select the wallpaper you want with just whichever background, and then go ahead and save it to your home screen. Now, once you've done that, you're going to notice there's an issue. It doesn't align properly with my device. So what I had to do was just tap on the edit button inside of the photos application and you're going to have to crop the image just slightly. Something that helped me was I swiped down the notification panel on accident. You saw that little arrow up top and you can use that as a reference and then zoom out all the way. You don't have to get that scientific with it. Just try to crop it as best as you can. I just did that because I wanted to be precise and I got close enough. So once you set it as your home screen wallpaper, you will see that this bar basically goes across the dots and you can't see it but from someone else's perspective it just looks like you have a really cool dock on your phone that separates the dock from the normal applications so if you continue to swipe you're not going to be able to access the apps so how do you access the apps well i actually went around asking family members and friends and nobody even knows about this if you tap just at the far left or right of the iOS device by those dots, you can actually scroll over to the next page on your home screen. So you actually don't really have to worry about other people guessing this, but there is one thing you need to change if you want all this to work properly. You'll need to go to settings, general, accessibilities, make sure reduce motion is turned on, and then you're gonna wanna make sure reduce transparency is turned off. Those are the two most important things you'll need for this. And then of course you'll have to have the wallpaper set properly. So just keep trying if you can't get the wallpaper. Now, there's one more issue. If you have all your hidden apps on another page, someone could just search up that application. So we're going to be turning that off. So what you want to do is go to Siri and search inside of settings and find the specific app that you're trying to hide. So let's just say we're trying to hide the clock application. You want to turn off both options inside of settings. So that way now whenever you search up clock, it does not come up. But you would actually know that that's on the hidden locked page of applications on your iDevice. So you can see I just tap and I move over and one page would be my main home screen, the other would be the hidden one. So that's about it for today. Thank you so much for watching and as always, peace.